not speak plainly so I can understand. No more questions. Then read the prophecy. Sir, your luggage? I carry my own luggage, thank you. Distracted fella. I think it's best for you to go into the train though and see our few guests in their rooms. Sir, your luggage. Honestly, these really go against the upper class stereotype. Luggage! It's so much for the supposed hospitality of the staff. No, no, I have my things in place. As you wish, sir. Are they all like this? Oh my god, a little moment from harsh words. It must be more polite if I stayed on the train. Sir, welcome to the Transpress Siberian Express. Yes, sir. My luggage? I'm sorry, sir. Forgive my luck, of course, sir. Oh, sir, has the meeting been moved? No, the meeting's the same. But it's time you realize the true nature of this business. You realize that all the CEOs on this train hold some monopoly over the travel market. Planes, buses, ships, etc. Yes, sir. Yet have you ever wondered how it came to be so? Always assume talent and luck, sir. But always builds empires. Terrible answer, but the efforts noted. No, regrettably, the best of luck couldn't keep a small travel business afloat. Have you seen the market? Whole crowds given movement over hundreds of miles of for spare change. The only profit and change for survival is in the black market. In the transport and delivery of illegal goods. Persons, in our case. Persons? If it's a fair price. But the cost in human lives. Ha! The world isn't so empty as that. Our method of economy is but God-given opportunity. Survival of the fittest, the strong have always preyed upon the weak, and the weak have always served us. What difference is a few human lives? It is best not to question the order of things, boy. You find yourself mature enough to attend the meeting? Yes, yes, I'll come. Good man. It was his fault, okay? Play it. Like, yes, I told you not to. Why did you do that? Okay. So we can all agree on one thing. The goods must be moved. Yeah, but who will move them? You? We stand on the brink of discovery, and no one is willing to let anyone else move them for fear of being skimmed in the deal. Well, I think... Well, no one cares what you think! It would be too conspicuous if our company's assets were to meet just before the arrival of the police, and just after our meeting on the street. So I suppose you should take control? We'd all be fools not to let me. I have had it. I will be heard at this table. If you're all going to act like buffoons at this moment of crisis, at least let me put forth the better plan. I have heard enough. Bilha. Yes, sir. My coat, please. Of course, sir. I think I can stand in the same air with these murderous fools. I'll just not, sir. Thank you. My coat, you cook about it. Yes, sir. I have no doubt you think I'm a timid coward as well, but I'll prove you wrong. Mine as well. Here comes her. I should mention that my late facts came in. Your doctor and lawyer implored me to tell you that in the interest of your best health and legal standing, you should not do anything rash, sir. Ha! Ah, since when have I ever done anything rash? Accidents happen sometimes, and before the end of this trip, luck may favor me. Well, I'm leaving. I've overpointed the redundancy, sir, but isn't the atmosphere a little tense? 
Well, yeah, you can expect little things from people such as these. Of course, sir. What? I... Sorry, sir. I'm in the habit of agreeing. I'm sorry for me to offense. No problem. Goodbye, sir. See you later. Sir? Hmm? Oh. Nothing. Have a good evening, sir. I've seen my share. Everyone leaves with harsh words in the end, but no one means anything. It's a bit disturbing to see someone be silent, though. Mm.